This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University. Ambassador Zipora Rimon, a workshop organizer, Professor Luis Reto, who is represented here by Professor Gamaraj, yes. Uh, I guess I'm the next one to move there, yes. Uh, Professor Eli Talmor and uh, Mr. Gonzalez Amorim. Uh, and we have with us also here the vice uh, president for research and development at Tel Aviv University, Professor Yoav Hennis, distinguished speakers, and uh, of course, dear participants. So it's a great pleasure for me to uh, welcome you here on this very unique workshop on water venture. Uh, you will hear about water a lot here. Let me take this opportunity and tell you a little bit about Tel Aviv University. So Tel Aviv University is one of the younger universities in Israel, yet it is the largest, and from my point of view, the most significant one in Israel. You said that you are small, we have everything on campus. Uh, central, I'm not sure we are central, but we definitely come from the holiest place. So, uh, you know, this is uh, our, our, I would say, uh, one of our characteristics. Yes, we say that we have direct line to God. <laughs> now, uh, and it's a local call. Yes, it's a local it's a call. Local. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, Tel Aviv University has uh, about 30,000 students. Uh, half of them are master and PhD students, which means that we are a very, very strong powerhouse of uh, research. We are very diversified. I don't know any other university in Israel that has so many areas of knowledge and research as a Tel Aviv University. And we cover in 125 departments, schools, units, uh, all areas of the sciences, humanities, and arts. And what looks in the beginning like, an, uh, I would say, overwhelming, has a lot of added value if we know how to lower the barriers among the disciplines and really make them uh, interact. If I looked at the program of this Water Venture Workshop, so it epitomizes, I would say, the basic values that drive Tel Aviv University. And the way I can describe it is by three eyes, interdisciplinary, uh, international, and interactive. So at Tel Aviv University, uh, we took the word uh, interdisciplinary very seriously not only looking at it as a very long word, but really taking, as I mentioned before, the barriers uh, among the disciplines uh, and lowering them so that we can have music students interacting in neurosciences. We have business uh, uh, professors that need MRI machine in order to look better at decision making. We have archeologists interacting with uh, material scientists and so on and so on. And I hope that the water research will also uh, benefit from this very, very, I would say, broad spectrum of possibilities. And actually we are in the process of thinking about an institute for water research. And we have here three uh, uh, researchers, young researchers, promising researchers from Tel Aviv uh, University joining us here uh, uh, today. I would, I would like to say that uh, the problems of the 21st century are so complicated that it will be naive to think that one discipline or two disciplines may really solve them. And I think we are in the era that we converge all aspects of, of science from all directions uh, in order to solve these problems. And universities should not look at specific research topics, but at challenges that interest, I would say, even uh, humanity. Uh, about international uh, uh, ties. International ties are similar to disciplines. If we create more ties, it brings new aspects, new approaches, new cultures into solving uh, problems. Therefore, we put a lot, a lot of emphasis on international ties, and uh, I'll be very glad if we come out of this visit with some agreements of where to go from here on. I must say we are very, very well networked in Europe, uh, uh, in parts of Europe, of course, uh, North America, South America, Australia. We have many, many agreements with universities, uh, agreements if you don't put some energy into it, uh, just 
pages with signatures, but we try really to make them alive. And with Portugal, unfortunately, we don't have much ties or many ties. Maybe it's time really to, uh, to take it as a, uh, uh, as a project. We are very well rooted in India. We are very well networked in China. We have, I think, the largest, uh, the largest initiative with the Chinese uh, institute, uh, uh, university. This is Tsinghua University. It's the MIT of China. With them, we established a new institute that in the future might be a real facility which will worth about $300 million. We have, with other Chinese universities as well, and as I mentioned, with India, is also quite flourishing. Uh, now about interactive. You know, one of the challenges of universities is to uh, take the academic work and somehow relate it to society. And we can do it in, in, in various ways. We have our ways in order to help the Israeli periphery and so on. But if I look at what can be relevant here, so we put a lot of effort in uh, connecting with industry, making industry uh, uh, academic relationship. We have special program which is called uh, Industrial Affiliates Program, which brings the industry into the university and, and vice versa. We would like to help students in placement afterwards. And uh, we do it not only in Israel, but we do it also worldwide. In India, for instance, we are not only connected to the uh, academic world, we have very strong ties with Tata Industries. Tata Industries is the one of the largest, I'm not sure, they all compete probably. So one of the largest conglomerate, conglomerates in, in India. And we are the first place, in Israel at least, where they put in uh, a few million dollars in order to, to take, to invest in the IP of Tel Aviv University. And you know, once uh, uh, Tata Industries are in, it immediately echoes around, and then Tamasek from Singapore came in, and then it started to, I would say, grow, and now we have in a special fund for IP at Tel Aviv University, $25 million, which I think is a very uh, important input in order to drive research that might lead to uh, uh, innovation. So we are very, very much interested in, in uh, expanding our international ties uh, as part of our academic activities and also as part of our, uh, I would say, uh, uh, IP innovation in the pictorial, in the pictorial uh, uh, world. I would like to mention, uh, uh, in, in conclusion, one interesting number. Uh, first of all, I believe uh, that we are the uh, most entrepreneurial uh, university in Israel. Uh, in a recent uh, 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 ranking survey made in the United States, Tel Aviv University came among the 10, 10 in the world, uh, uh, I think it was number eight, uh, the university whose graduates uh, managed to be successful is in uh, VC-backed companies. So among uh, uh, Harvard and MIT and Stanford, suddenly on the, uh, I think, nine, ninth line appears Tel Aviv University, the only one outside uh, uh, the United States. So for me, you know, there are many rankings, but this is a, a ranking that you can measure. You measure it in dollars, but it's also a measure. So uh, uh, I believe that we really prepare our students really for life either academically, which is our basic mandate, but also uh, we open the, for them the possibility to be successful entrepreneurs that might be related to what will happen here. So I'll stop here and I uh, uh, wish you a, an interesting and successful workshop. Thank you very much. This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University.